last time we had done some infusions, so we'd infused the wet deck and we infused the outsides of the holes. So since then, we've taken the pieces into the one shed, so everything's together. Piece by piece, she's rising up. From the floor of the yard to the shed roof above. Frames in place and the whole line's true. Our crew's got rhythm in the work they do. Builders and dreamers with resin hands. Turning bold ideas into ocean plans. Oh, the Dash Cat 1500's coming together. Like a good groove holding tight through any weather For every sailor, every time we're building a boat Where all can ride, yes, she's shaped by heart By hope, by skill on the water Soon sailing, yes, you will Designers sketching out wild blue dreams Teams on the floor making real what it means From Scott Batter's help to donations so kind Give big when the missions align. Accessible sailing, yeah, that's our song. Every soul on deck where everyone belongs. Out on the ocean where the wide winds roam. Freedom feels like a place we call home. When a twin hose fly and the waves fall back. You feel that dash got strength on every tag Yes, she'll cut through the blue with an easy glide Power and grace sailing side by side For all sailors, far and near Lift her high, set her down, feel that beat Multiple magic running bow to click She's more than a bow, she's a chance, she's a door To feel the winds call and ask for more together we've joined the whole together um, so what we what we've done is taken these outside pieces and stood them up from when you saw them last time they're lying down um, then we brought them together bolted all the molds together and then we've joined laminated these these uh, center line splits on both sides um, there's obviously some more intricate work gone on the bows um, but luckily this boat's got quite a lot of volume in the bow, so it's quite easy to get in there, unlike some of our boats where it's very hard to fit in there. Um, and then after that, we've obviously gone on to some bulkheads that Dan's going to quickly run through. So as you can see behind me, we've got one of our main bulkheads fitted with our doorways either side within the hull. We've got a, a, a bathroom, shower room down on the right-hand side, and we've got a bunkhouse down on the left-hand side. Um, we've still got maybe, I think we've got about four or five different bulkheads still to go in. Um, and behind you, we've just started fitting our main transom beam on the, on the aft end. As you see, it's quite a bulky uh, beam, but it's going to add quite a lot of structure to the back of the boat, which is, which is great for the design and obviously with the wheelchair access. Um, and as you can see, we need to put these bulkheads in to create some good structure to the shape of the hull. And this way then, when we come to release, it'll all stay in a nice one good piece and be nice and strong for the move across the yard so we can start the next stage of the build. Um, and whilst we're fitting in the bulkheads, we've also got some main beam stringers uh, running down along the outside of the hull just to add some support because um, as you can see, it's quite a, quite a deep hull so we need some structure in there to make sure it's nice and safe and rigid. So the stringers are a, a foam core with uh, biax and carbon tape. So it just adds, so the carbon runs the, will run the full length of the whole hull 
which will give it some good rigidity so it helps um, stabilize it during the use, especially when it's in the water. So, because it's that, like I said, that is a big expanse of hull that's sitting above the water line, so it has to have some rigidity and structure to it. And as right. you can see, it's, it's very tall. It's tall. Yeah, this is uh, this is a very wide hull. Floor level is about here, um, so I'd be slightly higher, so something more like this. But yeah, to to the deck, I can I could just reach. Um, so these where, where's the water line going to be? Water line is well, water line is actually not far off the floor in here. Okay. Um, this is the sort of slightly above water line for datums. But yeah, floor water line is. Floor is about the waterline. Okay. And can I ask why there's such deep holes, especially when people are going to be sitting down most of the time? Uh, well, it, not everyone's sitting down. No. John is no. still John is still seven foot four. Yeah. Six foot four, even. Six foot four. Yeah. <laughs> not seven foot four. <laughs> so John is about the same height as Luca, I think. And these doorways are Luca height. Okay. But obviously, the, the the Disabled Sailors Association isn't just people in wheelchairs there's all sorts of disabilities that still want to use it so um, we're, we're very aware that it's not just wheelchair users that are going to be on the boat um, so we have really adapted for, for all you know doors are fitted for wheelchairs really because they're nice big so wide. wide so you can wheel through in hopefully even the widest of chairs um, and it just gives you the ability to come in here turn around and and then work your way through the boat which is very rare in most boats the the whole difference between most people in a chair versus john who runs the boat is a is a big it's a big challenge to big, get both big. of those things right yeah this is a nice full-size bunk there is enough room on this bunk to divide into two singles um so there's a the drop-in piece that goes in here so you can get two people in here or just one person or a couple and we're also um, planning ahead at the moment because we've just got to think about dagger board positions. So as you can see, we've already got the monolithic set up ready for when we put the dagger board plants in. So even at this stage, we've still got to think that far ahead that we've got to be prepared for at some point, the dagger boards have got to be fitted through there. That's going to be very big boards, yeah. And then over the other side, in here, we've got a, a shower room. Um, we've tried to make this again very, very user friendly. Um, for normal users and disabled users. So this whole floor has got an angle set in it and there is a low sump area that everything drains to. So you can wash down everything in here. At this forward end will be a shower. In the middle here, there's a toilet, which will have a hoist to be able to lift people onto and off of. And then, you know, normal sink up here with some storage. And yeah, a drop down sort of changing bed here for when people need a bit more assistance. So this is the chain locker area. So that, that profile there, that's where the bowsprit will be connected. And obviously we've got an air, that hole is where the chain will be coming through for the anchor, into the anchor locker area. You're stood at the helm. So the, the, the helm is going to be on the starboard yeah. side? Yeah. So this will be the helm position? You're a bit low, because yeah. you need to come up 300 yeah. mil. Okay, but we can actually see, still see both. Yeah. Both Holes. And the stands. stands, yeah. What's next is to, to complete the bulkhead More fitment because we've still got our main compression bulkhead to go in along this point, which obviously creates the cockpit area. We've still got another uh, two either side of that and another bulkhead at the back where you see that carbon tape running across. So, so it's bulkhead fitment to complete. Then it's release, move across into the next unit and carry on with floor fitments, furniture fitments and, and, and all the next process that comes on from when the bulkheads are in. Um, and obviously you've still got to think about the fact we've still got the deck to go on, we've got the coach roof to go, you know, the, the, there's a lot of work to go yet before we get anywhere near this boat starting to take some shape. But as you can see already, it, you know, it, it's going, it's taking shape very, very quickly and very well. So exactly. Yeah, it's definitely looking, it's, it's looking like a hole now, that's for sure. Yeah, you know, thank you. Cheers. For the joy we chase for Every sailor finding their place Yeah, built with passion, purpose, pride An open water dream with the world inside Piece by piece she's near
really there And so she'll dance on the ocean